itself. A compound has nitrogen, hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. In other words, a compound is made up of nitrogen, hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. That is what a compound. In other language, this compound is made up of four elements. There are four elements there. But the composition of this one depends on the mass. Now, the mass of nitrogen was nitrogen, hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. Those are the symbols of those elements. <coughs> Have I made myself clear? Yes. If that is the case, let us, these are the constituent, cost, constituents of the compounds. Means, nitrogen is 1.121 gram. Hydrogen is 0.161 gram. Carbon is 0 0.480 gram. And oxygen 0 0.640 gram. Now in total, if now you put them together, you find that compound with that, with those mass of the constituents. You got it? Eh? Yes. Now, we have got masses. These are the masses. But remember, we have relative atomic mass of nitrogen, relative atomic mass of hydrogen, relative atomic mass of carbon, and relative atomic mass of oxygen. Amos mean you are the case away, we could be the half. A lot of bad down a superior and a pomariza who call up on a man in the Puchenga when you visit him. Now, the next step after we have listed what we call it masses or abundances of the elements of every element in the compounds. Now, what next he is dividing it, the every mass by its respective relative atomic mass. Relative atomic mass for nitrogen is 14. Relative atomic mass for hydrogen is 1. Relative atomic mass for carbon is 12. And relative atomic mass for oxygen is 16. A simple mathematic now. Now, here, you have 1.121 divided by 14. After dividing this one, you get 0 0.08. Here, 0 0.161. Then, One, 0 0.161. 
This divided by this one, 0 0.04. The same applied to here. The next step is to find out which one is the smallest in number. Which one among of these numbers is the smallest in number? 0 0.04. 0 .04. Now we divide by the smallest number throughout the number that we have got. 0 0.04. Nature manam. Who could not have fundisha? Who could not have talako to a baroni makalatasa and not a kitchen? Now divide it by 0 0.04. Divide it by 0 0.04. Divide it by 0 0.04. If now you take this divide by this one, you get it too. Is it so? Yes. If now you take this divide by this one, you get what? It? Four. If now you take this divide by this one, you get what? It? One. If now you take this divide by this one, one. Mathematically, now we have nitrogen, there are two of them. Then we have hydrogen, there are four of them. Then we have carbon, one of them. And then we have oxygen, one. Now in short, this is the N2H4, then CO. This is the empirical formula. So this is the empirical formula. And that is what we've been taught. What is it? Is the empirical formula. It was not a definition of empirical formula. It was not about determining the empirical formula by using the following things for that we have done it here. Have I made myself clear? Quite yes. no matter whether you've been given masses or abundances in terms of percentage, what matters you have to understand the principle. The first principle you like those symbols, the second principle you list their masses or abundance, then you divide with their respective relative atomic mass. After so, you look for the smallest number, then you divide by the smallest number. After then, if now you have decimals, you have to approximate those decimals into what? Full numbers. It is where well now you come up to what kind of the elements. Now, after that answer, I have the other question right here. Ah, ha. It was a simple equation, but it was a technical question. From this equation, from this question, so far, a compound and a compound has an empirical formula of this one. From the question, we have already given what we call it the empirical formula. Now, empirical formula. We will go now to C H. That is from the question. If now that is the case, if it has a relative molecular mass of, now from the question, relative molecular mass also is equal to 78. What is it is molecular formula? What is it is molecular formula? Sasa, atuitaji kutafuta empirical formula kwa sababu tayari tunayo. We don't need to calculate for empirical formula because we have already given from the question. But now we have relative atomic mass. Remember, molecular formula is equal now to empirical formula times what? N. So we don't have N here but we have empirical formula. Now, it will be equal to CH times what? N. Now, let us find for the value of N so as we may definitely substitute it here. So, it took up one more If now that is the case, from relative molecular mass is equal now to empirical formula times what? N. From this formula, it is where now we can determine the value of n. <laughs> 
Yes. Did you answer seven day for you? Yes. Eh? Seven day for you one. One one. Eh? One one. One one. You can't do it for you, man. You can't do That is not a problem. It ain't a problem. No. Now, it was point one, one. <coughs> that was letter to correct the mass. <coughs> now, from here, I can determine what we call it. What is the value of N? The value of N. Now, this is 78.11. You see, now, empirical formula is CH times N. Sasa um, tuna substitute relative atomic mass ya kila moja. It will be equal to 78.11 is equal now to C is what? 12 plus H is 1 times what? N. Now, this is 13N is equal now to 78.11. Now we divide it by 13 more times. We divide here by 13. Now let us divide. Now, what we have N is equal to six point zero zero eighty five. But we are not interested in these numbers with decimals. You understand? <coughs> because we are talking about how many elements are there. We are not talking about the gram. Now we don't have one point five hydrogen. So we better approximate this one into a good number. It is where now we say N is equal to 6. After you have done the value of N, you come back here so as you may determine the molecular oh. formula. Now, the molecular formula we have said is equal to empirical formula times the N. But N now is equal to 6. N is equal to what? Now, this C1 H1 times 6. That is this time this one, C6. This time this one, it is H6. Now this is what we definitely call it a molecular formula. So, have I made myself clear? Because our task was not about determining the molecular formula. But what was missing is only the value of N because the empirical formula was already there. So, you want? Right. Let us see the next question.